I read all your comments and I know guys, you want me to sweat. So today, I'll be bringing out some meta loadouts and showing you guys the best way to win in Bloom Sea Battles too. So let's hop right into it, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are against Withmir here, who has a bunch of top 10 badges, and we're both going Fate Weaver Adora. And guys, we're sweating out today. We're going to have some good games against top players, and we're on the map of Precious Space. So let's get it. We're going to start with our submarine right about here, and we'll get Barb darts off the rip. We'll get our farmer down. And we'll get our balloon bot down. They're actually starting with Fate Weaver Adore. Interesting. So Fate Weaver Adore over Substart. I honestly don't know which one's more effective defensively. I feel like Substart's better. Yeah, look, I feel like our sub's doing more damage than their Fate Weaver. I don't know. And then we'll get our Fate Weaver next, and they're going to get their sub next. That's the idea, but I feel like starting with the sub's better. All right, send some greens. Oh, they have Ace. Wait, what? Ace? I thought they were going Bomb Sub Farm as well. Interesting. Ace on this map is really weird. Okay. Okay, let's try to get our submarine back on last targeting if possible. We'll try to micro the targeting. So I guess that's why they start with their Fate Weaver. Now it makes a little bit more sense. I did not expect Ace to come out from them. There's so many blues. Okay, we're going to upgrade the sub then. We'll upgrade the sub. That's fine. I probably should have just upgraded the sub right away, to be honest. I'm leaking a lot more than I probably should have. But it is what it is. And the sub doesn't seem to be doing that good of a job either against this. Okay, they get their farm down. Nicely done. I don't know what ace strategy they could be going. Ace with Fate Weaver Dora on this map is weird. I've got to say. I haven't, I haven't really seen ace on this map at all, to be honest. So I don't know what, what to expect. But they are top players. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's a good strategy. Maybe, like, ace engineer farm? Could be the loadout. Let's get upgrade the farm. Go for a second farm on our end. Get airburst starts on this. Oh, we're, I don't have enough money for airburst starts. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, we're good. The Fate Weaver clutched up a little bit. Get a submarine with this. All right, we're fine. We're fine. That was a little bit scary on my side. I'm not going to lie. We may have greeted a little bit too much with that second farm, but we ended up somehow surviving. They got bomb race on their end, so they're chilling with that. So nicely done to Withmere there. We're going to keep farming on my end. We have the farm lead because these submarines are a lot cheaper than their bomb race. So I do like the farm lead that we've got going on. Um, okay, Fate Weaver, don't choke, please. We are pretty low, which is a little bit concerning. But now I have two conjured weapons at once for my Fate Weaver, which should hopefully not leak anymore when I've got level four now. So that's good. That is very good. Okay. Looks like they're still leaking a little bit. Their, their ace micro might not... They are microing it a lot, but... Okay, looks like they're not leaking anymore. Yeah. Look at the ace micro coming out. Wait, what'd they just do? They just placed a farm? Okay. They're good, they're good. We're chilling. No reason to fear. Ryan Mahalik is here. There's the engineer. So it is, it is ace ng farm. Okay. Ace ng farm on this map is really weird. I've got to say. Very, very odd. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen it before on this map, to be honest. So this is a first. All right. I'm going to go for a plantation. Plantation's been bought. Use Fate Weaver ability. Get a bomb shooter right here. Frag bombs on it. Okay, they got their thing up. Nicely done. Go second plantation. Alright, we're chilling. Let's get this guy up. They got a cleansing foam on their side as well. We've got them out farm pretty hard here, which is exactly what we're trying to do. So I'm happy about that. I am really low on lives, though. Four lives is actually very, very scary. And I do want to rush them still, for sure. Because I do need to force a little bit more defense on their end. So let's send them some rainbows. Okay, force tower boost. And ET in level three, that's good. They went for a balloon trap. That's fine. I'm going to send them more rainbows. I want to force more defense on top of that. Okay. There we go. We forced them self farms. That's perfect. They're down to one farm now on their side. I'll take that. I'm going to go for a marketplace on my end in a second. Put this on first. We're chilling. Okay, 
Okay, I got our reactor up. We're good. Reactor Randy's on the field. I've got them out farm pretty hard here, which is exactly what I was going for. I could have maybe all outed them. I don't think all outing them would have killed them though. Because they're probably getting tower boost back pretty soon. So I decided not to opt for that. Is there any rushes I should send? I'm not sure. Maybe a fortified Moab is a good rush. That's an option for sure. Can I fit a submarine in there? I can't. Oh, I can. I saw it. I try to get it pre-placed just because like, it's so hard to fit. There we go. There we go. I sent him one of these. And I'm actually going to sacrifice something as well. Oh, I sacrificed too early. They might be in trouble here. They're in trouble. Oh, fate ability? Fate ability did not clutch up. They it can't pop fortified ceramics entirely. Oh man. Okay, so we're one and oh for our tryhard matches. I'll take that. I didn't use the sacrifice ability well. I didn't time it well. I could have sped that mob up a lot better there, but I mean we got the win at the end of the day. All right, that was a good sweat match to start off the video. We're on another one. We're going Bomb Spike Factory Farm this time. Now, this might not really look like a sweat strategy, guys, but trust me, this strategy is actually really, really strong on this map in specific, and I've been running it a lot lately, and I think it can be a sweat strategy. Now, speaking about sweat, let me, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see the return of the sweat series. I've been st thinking about starting it back up again. I've been, I've been thinking about it, so let me know if you'd like to see that coming back. But we're going to start with our bomb. We're going to start with our 18 here. Opponent starting with the Dart Monkey, and they brought Smudge as well. So Smudge Dart is interesting, I've got to say. Let's send him some Spaced Balloons. Maybe force some leakage on their side. I don't know about Dart on this map. I have, I've tried Dart on this map a couple of times, and I don't know, the Lines of Fire with the Dart and everything, I just don't think it's really that good of a Dart map. This is mostly just like Tack or Bomb map. A lot of maps Dart these days I think is better than Tack, but this is one of the maps where I think Tack has the edge. So we'll see what they're going, though. They're sending me yellows, okay. They're going for a second dart monkey on their side. I'm gonna get up my cluster bombs here in a second. Ideally, I don't wanna leak too much early game. So then I can, yeah, some camel balloons aren't an issue later and stuff. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good. No idea as to what their little is though. Dart smudge cat is really weird. You don't really see, smudge cat in general is not a hero you really see at all these days, so. I'm pretty curious. Okay, they go for a crossbow. Yeah, see, they have to get so much defense early. Like, on a lot of other maps, he would have a farm down right now with Dart Monkey. But on this map, you need to buy that crossbow early because just the trip dart spot's not very good. And I don't even know if that defends, to be honest. I don't even know how well the trip dart and crossbow combination will even defend here for them. Because their hero's not really going to do much for them defensively. So much cat's not really going to pop much. Let's get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down here. Let's get a farm down here. All right. I did not get a banana from the farm, unfortunately. And I will be going for Drone Swarm here in a second. So we leak, don't leak too much. There we go. Drone Swarm is out and ready to play. They get their first farm down. Okay, it looks like they are defending White Balloons fine with that setup. So nicely done. I'm going to guess their third's Mortar. That's just, that just makes the most sense to me. Even though they're going a weird hero like Smudge Cat, it's, I still think it's going to be Mortar from them. Which it honestly should work out. Like, Dart Mortar Farm is still a really good strategy. You can probably run with like any hero, but... I don't think Smudge Cat's the ideal hero to run it with, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to balloon boost at them. They're starting to struggle a little bit. Yeah, look at that. We forced a tower boost with the balloon boost. Wait, aren't they in trouble against yellows then? Their current defensive setup's not going to do anything against yellows pretty much. And they don't have tower boost, so I sent them some. There's the mortar. Okay, I wanted to force the mortar out. So it is mortar. We got it correct with our guess. I actually probably could have sent them more yellows and forced some mortar upgrades. I probably should have done that, but... It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine forcing the mortar and just letting it be, letting them be there. It's not a bad force. Round eight. I'm gonna start saving for my plantation. We have about equal, yeah, equal money here, give or take. But I don't know. We'll get the plantation up here soon. One more eco boost, I think. Well, actually, no. We'll do. We'll do another. We'll do one more eco boost now, and then I'll get the plantation up. This idea. Come on, plantation been bought. Perfect. Do I cross path that or is that too greedy? I'm not going to cross path that yet. I'm going to go for a spike factory. I think cross pathing right now might be a little bit too greedy. I have a play. Bear stacks on spike factory. I want to get a spike pile coming in and then I'll cross path the farm after that. Alright. 
Spike pile is building up. That's good. They're upgrading their mortar a little bit. Where's their camo detection mortar, though? Okay, they're preparing a second mortar. Nicely done. K-Rot's got, got his defenses down. He's got his two mortars up. Nicely done, brother. Okay. What's going to happen here? Round 12. They build, the signal, they build their signal flare. Are they going to try to force my ET in camo? Currently, it does not appear so. So I'm going to go for a second farm. And I'm going to sell this, actually, in a second. There we go. Two plantations. That is crazy. Our farms are nuts right now. Wait, they're sending me ceramics? I should be fine against those. Yeah, we're good. And now I have camo protection on my ETN, which is great. I'm feeling good now. Okay, second bomb straight down right here in case they rush me. I can upgrade the second bomb. Our farms are really good now. Our eco's good. They've got 2.6k on hand, though, so... I feel like it's... Yeah. Power boost. Don't region, don't region farm too much. We're good. I think we're good against this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait. Did they die against an all out or no? Oh, I think they're good actually. Dang it. Nicely done. I I needed to get... The, I played that poorly. What I should have done was just saved up and made sure to get a cluster bomb against the initial rush. If I just got a, had a cluster bomb up against that initial rush they sent me, a second cluster, and then I wouldn't have had the tower boost and then got in that situation for the re-rush. You know what I mean? But at least we're alive. But I, I definitely misplayed that. At least we're alive, though. At least we're alive. We're still in the game. And then I tried to counter rush them, but they had their, they had their mortars and ups still up. So, yeah. Either way, we're alive here. Okay, fortified Moab. Swarm. Molar. I think this defends. This should defend. Straight up. I'm actually going to sell a cluster bomb. I don't need a cluster. Two clusters. We'll sell one cluster for more eco. Who has the eco lead? Wait, let's try to track their eco. $13. Oh, they only have like one po they only have like 1k eco. Oh, we're actually still ahead quite a bit. What am I worrying about? We're actually still ahead quite a bit here. Their eco's bad. So I'm going to stop... Since they stopped their eco already, I'm going to stop my eco pretty soon here then. I don't want to like over eco and then put myself in danger against rushes. You know what I mean? We'll stop my eco at 1650. 1650 is enough eco for us. They have 4.5k on hand. What are they saving up for? Fortified ZMG possibly is what they're doing. Um, I think we save up for a spiked mines in the back. They're definitely sending me a fortified ZMG, I think. Or it's a regular ZMG, actually. Okay. Regular ZMG. It's fine. Get up an assassin here. Let's use drone swarm. Is he going to send me tight leads? Or what? I'm kind of expecting tight leads, but so far nothing. So far nothing's been sent. There it is. Okay, we're good against that. Tower boost. You cav. This should defend. This defends. Easily, actually. I shouldn't have you calved that though. You calving that was a bad play, I think. I think you spinning you calv there was not smart. Okay. Assassin. Assassin. I think we're good against this. We have enough spiked mines in the back. This should be a defend. And we have more eco than them. There's nothing to worry about. I don't want to send them a ZMG or anything right now. We spiked mines clean up. Yeah, we're good. Let's go for a farm. Let's go for a farm. Or two. We're fine. There's no reason for me to really rush them right now or test their defense. They can fan club. They can get shattering shells. They have smudge cut as easy. They'll use the totem, their tower boost, they'll hex. I have a huge money advantage. If we just let it 
drag out a little bit longer. We win late. There's no reason to put, poke the bear. Uh, can I sell for a blue blue impact uh, thing? 8k, 22k. Yeah, I can sell for a I can sell for a bomb blitz if it really comes down to it. I can get bomb blitz if he sends me like an old out. Okay, we boosted a spiked mines there or spiked storm. Use you cop here. I should be good against this. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Spiked mines cleans it up. There we go. And then we send them a um. Oh, what do I send them though? I don't even know. We'll go for an I'm of loan on our side. I don't even know what to send them is the thing. ZMGs probably, right? ZMG, well, yeah, they don't have like any defense. What about a set of four or five DTs? The tower boost, the fan club. No, the fan club doesn't hit them. They don't have a shattering. Yeah, they don't have a shattering, so they're dead. If they had a shattering, they defend the set, but I can kill them with them more sets afterwards. All right, that's a GG. I'll catch you guys in third and final match. Two sweat games in a row, bro. I'm feeling sweaty. Alright guys, last match of today's video, we're on the third and final map of Dino Graveyard, and we're going to the strategy of Ace Engineer and Pharmacy. So you don't really see me go to the strategy too often, but it is one of the best strategies in the entire game, and it's really good on this map in specific. So we're going to start with our Ace right here, and then we'll be getting our Jericho around one as well. We're going to Big Panda, who's starting with their Etienne and their Dart Monkey, so nicely done there. ETN Dart. I don't really know what loadout they would be bringing. Maybe um, Dark Glue Farm? I don't know. I've been going some ETN Dart strategies on my channel recently, so... Could be, could be, a, there's actually a decent amount of ETN dart strategies people run, so I don't exactly, yeah. But we are Jericho down round one, that's good. And then we will be saving up for our first farm, is the plan. They got their trip dart up, so nicely done there. We don't know if they're going to eco or farm loadout just yet. We'll kind of find out on round three, because round three, if they continue to send me grouped reds, they're going to be going a farm loadout, and if they send me grouped blues, they're going to be going an eco loadout, so we'll find out pretty soon on that. We'll send them some yellows though. I feel like their trip dart will actually struggle with because they're sending blues. They're going eco. They're going eco. Yeah, I feel like their dart trip dart will struggle against these a little bit. Especially if they keep it on first, which is what they I think currently have it on. And we're also gonna need to upgrade my ace to exploding pineapples as well here. Pineapples are now exploding. That's what I'm talking about. They got a second dart monkey in there, and it's nicely done. I don't really care about my life count here, so I can leak without really a worry. That's by rapid fire. All right. They got the crossbow up. Okay, they're going to be good. It's probably like a Dark Glue Village loadout, right? Dark Glue Village on this map, though. Oh, I think they're in trouble, guys. I think they're in trouble if they're going Dark Glue Village on this map. Because the thing about this map is the regrow blocker village. There's no good regrow blocker village spot. That's like the Dark Glue Village heavily relies on the regrow blocker village to um defend. So if they go for like a glue hose with it, it's just going to region farm out of control. It's just going to region farm out of control. I'm telling you right now, so... We'll, we'll see if that's actually their loadout or not, but I'm expecting Dark Loot Village is what I'm thinking they're bringing. And I'm just going to send them a million and a half regrow rainbows, and I feel like they're going to be they're going to be in big trouble. If it's playing out how it's playing out in my head, they'll be in big, big trouble. Let's get our bomb race up, though. Bomb race can defend these greens fine. Yep, yep. Let's get greater production. All right. Might have been better for me to go Star Cap and Jericho than I'm thinking about it, because Star Cap and Jericho has a faster regrow rate for balloons, which could have helped. Um, I was debating between the Jerichos when I chose. I feel like all three Jerichos are kind of on equal standings now. They've kind of nerfed and buffed them around. Um, and I feel like they're all pretty similar strength now. So I don't know. I just felt like going normal Jericho, but the other two Jerichos aren't bad at all. Okay, they're sending me yellows. That's fine. We're gonna get keep up around the second farm. And we'll get our second steal here pretty soon as well. They didn't avoid my first steal at all. We have a, we had a 250 first steal. So let's see if we can get a big second steal here. Okay, 13. And it looks like we're getting a decent steal. I'm actually going to stop my eco. Really early to stop your eco. Round 8, I know. But again, I feel like they're going to be in really big trouble for round 13 rush. So I think 
early eco stoppage is not a bad idea. Just so then I can have more money to rush them with. There's the glue gunner. Okay, that's two of the towers. I I'm assuming their third's village. I mean, again, I could be wrong. I mean, if they have like tack shooter as their third, then my rush just isn't going to work because they can maelstrom it. But yeah, they go for a they're going for a jug on their side. It looks like. I still feel like even with a jug, they're going to be in trouble. It's just going to regrow farm so hard. I don't think the jug is going to make a difference. Unless if they get double jug up, if they get double jug and a glue hose, then I think I can't get through it. So it really just depends. We'll get Sentry Expert on our side, though. Let's steal again. Okay, I need to force their camo protection on their ETN. Okay, force the camo protection on their ETN. That's good. They go for the glue hose. Okay. They don't even have a regal blocker village down right now. So, all right. I don't know if I all out them here or if I just send a big rush to force tower boost. I'm all outing, I'm all outing. I think it's gonna regrow, regrow farm. Even through tower boost, even through tower boost. Yeah, look at the regrow farm, it's regrow farming. Wait, <laughs> it's working. Tower boost, tower boost to counter, the counter. Dude, look at it. I called it, I called it. I, I don't know what else to say, I, I called it. I knew what would happen. I'm sorry, big panda. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video though. Let me know your thoughts down below if you like the sweaty content and if you wanna see a sweat series return. That's it for today, where I'm like out. Peace, lads.